this is my setup uh, in the garage for the Govi um, Outdoor Permanent Light Pro. I have two kit 100 and 200 feet. And you can see right here, this is the monitors, the uh, power monitors, along with the fuse for the adapter and the controller. And uh, let me show you how to do it. So here you can see this is a, a illustration of the power coming in to the adapter. This uh, box right here, the rectangle, uh, rectangular box right here, that is the uh, uh, power supply. It's go it's go all the way to the fuse right here. It's where the tip of the pencil is at, and then from there it's gonna go to the power monitor, and from the power monitor it's gonna go to the controller. Um, right here, um, that's the controller right there. And then for the controller, it's going to transfer the power to the uh, light string. And that's, that's how your light get power and light up. If you look at the back of the uh, power controller, the, uh, the power uh, supply, this, this is the power supply. Another term for it is an adapter. Um, you can say it's a 3M. 3M, so I use 2M for the fuse. So if it's burned, it's going to burn the fuse first before it's burn the adapter. Well, the adapter term is, the, that's a goal we call that. I didn't call that. So they call this is adapter. So here, this is the, the way how you prepare it. You can see I use the parallel uh, con wire connector here and then uh, to put it on top of the stranded wire. And then uh, you use some type of a crimper to crimp it down. So it gives you a uh, steady connection. Because if you use the uh, stranded wire and you connect it, the stranded wire into the power uh, monitor, and when you wire it down, the screw may damage the stranded wire. So the best is just to use the uh, connector like this. And then when you crimp it down, you have a very strong connection. So when you see after I crimp it down, the connector kind of flatten. And then I try when I was trying to pull it out, it's like firm. It doesn't even pull out. So that is a good connection right there. Uh, same thing, do another connector on the other side. I'll put everything in the link in the below description, um, so you can get it. You don't need to buy what whatever I put out there. You can just need to get the similar uh, thing. So here is the uh, fuse holder. So you look right here, you see two screws on the side. Uh, you can get any fuse holder that you want, but I refer this one is because it's cheap. Um, so the fuse holders right here. So now you use some type of uh, wire connector, a little U-shape. And then same thing, use a crimper, uh, crimp it down. So here you can see I use the flip head, uh, I mean the flat head screwdriver to unscrew the uh, monitor's uh, hole. So that's the way I can put the uh, connector inside. So this is the little diagram right here. So if you look at the diagram and you are able to read it, it's very easy to uh, to understand the way how it is. So, um, so if you want to pause and take a look at it. So here, the red and the um, the red and the black one gonna go to the uh, um, controller. That's it for the controller, and that's why you say the low. The low is the uh, power carry to your low. So you put the wires in, you put the wire connections in, and then you tighten it. It's gonna stay in there good.
um, for the orange white right here. It's about to be uh, red, but I don't have the, I ran out of the red color. So I use uh, orange uh, to compensate for the red color. So that is my hot line right there. So you see, I pull it, it won't even fall out. And it's So here you can see um, you put in the uh, connection, uh, you connect the uh, wire to the uh, fuse holder. So you put it like that and then you just screw it back and uh, it's going to stay in there. Instead of, you know, you cream the whole thing, you, you cream the uh, stranded wire into the fuse, whatever, and it, it doesn't hold that well. So now I need to cut this. I accidentally do uh, the connection. It shouldn't be the connection. It should be like a straight. It should be you just strip the wire and leave it blank because that part you need to connect it to the waggle nut. So don't do what I did uh, at this point. Yeah, so just leave it like that. And then you use a piece of small uh, another wire so you can cut so you can connect that piece of wire into the fuse holder like that. And then uh, you can use the waggle nut. And uh, so the waggle nut and then clamp it down. And then on the other side, you use another connector. You use some type, uh, this connector here. I'll link the link. I'll, I'll, li I'll leave the link in the description, the red. So you put the red into the waggle nut. So the red go to the orange. And from the black one, you can connect the black one to the gray color. And then you put the fuel caps on. Okay, as you can see here, um, I sh cut out the uh, the excessive um, orange wire, so I trim it out, and then I so I make everything gonna light up so you can see the power supply gonna send the power to the uh to the fuse and then go to the power uh to the little uh power uh meter and then it go to the controller and then from the controller it's gonna go it's gonna send the power to the light string and uh let's do a little test so you plug it in. I'm not going to use the app, but when you after you plug it in, the power meter light up and uh, send the power to the light string and then you turn it on, your your light string has power. That's it. Thank you, guy.